What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of Smash. I'm here with my buddy Vince. We're gonna be playing some. Oh god. We're gonna be playing, <laughs> playing some Zero Suit Main, which is my main against his Roy. Look at him, he's so pretty. Which is also my main. His main. Yeah. He's insane in the main brain. <laughs> insane in the main! <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, you're so clever. Oh god, I'm fucking funny. Okay. You crack me up, sir. <laughs> alright. So, pretty much, alright, before we start, we're gonna do like a serious one and then we're gonna fuck around. So, this is like the serious one. So, yeah. Serious. Seriously serious. I mean, it's so serious. Even serious people take it serious. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Shut up, donkey. <laughs> fuck. Hmm? I said nothing. That was not the move I wanted to do. Okay. That's the move you want to do. Uh. I wonder. Well, huh. Should we just do like a fucking. What? Are we doing like best of four thing again? I don't know, dude, I don't really care. Don't really it's like care. fun. We both know we're good. <laughs> don't say that. Some motherfucker be like, yo, I'll meet you at motherfucking this place. Okay, and well, we're, fuck not, you up. we're not casual, to put okay. it that way. I'm not saying we're pros or anything. Yeah. Dude, we're, we're like. Dude, we're like so pro. We're pro. We're pro -iest pros ever. See that? That was straight pro. That was straight PC elite. Like, if I was a pro, I'd say I'd fuck YouTube Mom's kid. Why well, even say that? Right? Oh. <laughs> oh my god, enough of the juggle. There we go. Sorry. No, it's fine. I just. I, I mean, enough with me being caught in it. That's oh, my okay. own fault. Nope. Well, man, in that effort. I thought I was gonna get the grab off on you, but he didn't work. No grab. We'll grapple you, but no grab. Ah. That's what I wanted. I didn't even mean to do that. Did you see that? Nope. I did the, the side B grab. I don't know why I said that. That's just like a bad habit. Ooh, God. What's that from? Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. It's actually a song by Blue Suede. But oh, yeah. It's from Guardians of the Galaxy. I told you I saw that, right? Did you? Yeah, it's fucking awesome. Fucking amazing, right? Yeah. I would go see it again, like, no doubt. I, w I don't see movies in theaters multiple times, but that's one of the ones where I would break that rule. Yeah, because for, like, a little bit, that fucking thing was, like, dominating the fucking... Apparently Ninja Turtles is the number one movie in America, but I don't... No, Ninja Turtles great. is the number one movie in the fucking world right now. How? I don't know. It's not even that good. <laughs> Honestly, people, if you like Ninja Turtles at all, and you like, like, the old shit... That's, a, that's, that's pretty much what, like, I, I heard is that, uh... Like, if you like the old stuff, you're not gonna give a shit about this. Well, I mean, much. it was good. It's just, well, first of all, Megan Fox can't act. Second of all, the origin story is complete bullshit. Um... They They're her pet, yeah, no, they were her pet turtles when she was a kid, and um, Splinter's not from Japan, but and learned ninjits, ninjitsu from a book, which totally explains why he suddenly has a Japanese accent and a Fu Manchu, right? Yeah, I thought that was odd <laughs> too. Oop, that was... But no, no, that's uh, the movie was <laughs> slow for the first half. I can't, like I really want to, I want to like hear you explain because I fucking don't care. I don't know. <laughs> like don't spoil it for everybody like at home or anything. You know what I mean? All right, but, all right. Like I, I just this is your warning. I'm gonna go into great detail. Spoilers ahead. <laughs> okay, there you go. Um, all the characters like all it's the ironic scene. I said I just literally said that spoiler. Yeah, no, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all the turtles are done really well. Like, all the personalities are... I heard that, uh, fucking Johnny Knoxville was... Leonardo was pretty good. Yeah, no, he does a good job. Like, I, if you, if you didn't know it was Johnny Knoxville, he wouldn't sound like his, you know, jackass self. Yeah. But, um, 
all their personalities are portrayed very well. The only problem is there's like minimalistic exposure to the turtles to like a halfway towards the movie. And from there, I do have to say that action picks up and just doesn't stop, which is good. But it doesn't really give you any downtime to get to know the characters besides like Megan Fox's April. And instead of being like a good news reporter, she's like a chick with daddy issues. It's just not interesting. Well, she can't. Her fucking oh god! Like in the commercial when it was just like, no, they're turtles. It's like, <laughs> it's so bad. Like I get it. She's she's good looking, but you don't have to put a chick in the movie just because she looks good. You can. Well, that's a, they said the same thing about fucking Godzilla. Like they they said it was so focused on fucking kick ass the entire time instead of fucking you know the Godzilla. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like it's probably the same thing in this this sentence because fucking it's called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but. It should be like <laughs> Megan Fox featuring Teenage Mutant. And I don't know. Every scene with Shredder involved was good. I, don't, I, I know a lot of people have problems with his new like mech suit thing, but I don't think it's that different. He mostly fights without any assistance from it, except for like one part of the scene where he throws out a bunch of knives and the turtles are deflecting it, and that, that's it. So I don't, I don't see that really being a problem. I think Shredder was really good. I do not like the fact that he was overshadowed by this like. It, oh, it's like his student or whatever, the guy that made him the suit. It's a scientist. It basically, he, he looks like the head banana in the movie. It looks like uh, Shredder's like second banana, like little bitch. And it was kind well, of. Well, I heard that the, the character that that, uh, that fucking actor. You just slammed me through the fucking platform? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we were supposed to do a fun one this time. <laughs> it would probably just end up being all fucking main. We can do a fun one, like... Fucking, Where's Cloud? Cloud Damn. 9, baby. Uh, we can do a fun one after the next video. We'll just do it in the next video, so yeah. Okay. But, uh, I definitely, I definitely recommend seeing it. It's not a bad movie. It's just not, not as good as the 90s ones. Yeah, well, that's just nostalgia right there. It's well, just... it's not even nostalgia so much as, like, I mean, the humor was there, but the turtles were, like, the main focus of the original movies. And I just, I wish they... When they yeah, for real. One, that they keep the focus on the turtles. That's my only request. Otherwise, the movie was great. Yeah. Plus, Mikey's fucking hilarious. I heard that he was the best out of all. Well, they're all great in their own right. In fact, the the one that's like maybe the least interesting is Leo in that one, and that's just because he has very few lines. He doesn't do a lot. It's just. Don't they get captured? Yeah, they all get captured except for Rad. That's a fucking cliche, and uh, a half. <laughs> they all that always happens. It does always happen. It, it, it happens in... Yeah, it have. I think Raph got captured in the 90s once. I, I believe so. But it's always Raph who's got to go save him. I don't get that. Why is it Raph? Because Raph has the most... Like, the reason why they do it is because Raph's the only one ever the team that ever wants to go out on his own. Yeah. So it's usually his responsibility to keep the brothers together in the end, which is what keeps him there. So it's like their way of keeping Raph a rebel that stays around. Because they need him. Kind of deal. I guess... I, I don't know. That's my explanation for it. Not worth it! Oh! <laughs> but, um, I have to say, design-wise, Raphael was probably my favorite. Oh, he I just thought... looks terrifying. Like, yeah. I mean, they're all nightmare fuel. They're with their human faces, but... I heard that they uh, changed them up a little bit. Like, it, when they first released the trailer, they changed them up in, like, the second Oh, yeah, no, no, no. It was, like, way realistic the first time. It was creepy as fuck, but, like, they toned it oh, down Oh, and they showed Michelangelo, and he was just like, what the fuck are you? But, like, Raph, for instance, he's, like, um, his fucking turtle shell is covered in duct tape, and I'm like, what the fuck's that about? And, like, halfway through the movie, Shredder, like, cracks his shell more, and just every time he gets injured, he gets down and duct tape a shell. And I'm like, that's kind of cool. Yeah. You know, he's like, I don't care, I give a fuck. And he's also the under only turtle that doesn't have a soft underbelly. And he's fucking ripped. <laughs> <laughs> he pushes out bullets with his pecs. I'm not even, I'm not even kidding, that happens. But uh, Donnie's always been my favorite turtle. turtle and Really? Yeah. I've always liked Leo. Leo's always my favorite. Son of a bitch. Okay, uh... <laughs> Fucking god damn it. But, you know, and he was good. It's just... They made him a little bit too OCD, for my taste. Like, oh, okay. he couldn't control his, like, intellectual babble. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, oh, this is the smart one. Remember how he's smart? Yeah. That, hey, let me remind you how he's smart. 
they like to do that because they assume you're a fucking idiot. And it was really cool that like he was the only one that didn't have a traditional like weapon. He modified his bow staff to do additional shit because he's a techie, and I did like that. Yeah. This getting awkward. Might get quiet for a second here, guys. I gotta <laughs> focus and die. <laughs> but um small things like the small character details what makes them like so like personalized like Raphael obviously is the rough and tumble close combat guy so he's covered in scars and shit I don't know dude just like when uh when Leo like fucking ended up like jumped on that fucking uh like in the trailer when he goes back off Raph and then he's like dude she's like oh my god you look awesome <laughs> yeah no like they gave Leo a really Brazilian look. Like, he has, like, boxer trunks on, and he has, like, a bone tooth, like... Necklace, right? Yeah. And he looks very, like, feral. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's a good look for him. And I, I like Mikey, though, because, like, he's he has a tattoo, first of all. A tribal tattoo of a turtle, and I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> oh, dick. That's, that's pretty dumb. <laughs> I heard that he's like hitting on Megan Fox the entire time. The entire time he's trying to get away, but which is hilarious, but I like how the trailer he's like, Yeah, we'll find you. <laughs> it's that kinda of creepy man. <laughs> but like if you guys watch the nineties one, you'll realize that um well actually like most of the time it's Donnie that's crushing on April. I mean oh, yeah. Mikey always does sit on her, but no, Have you just... saw the dub version? Like no. a bunch of black guys have dubbed the Ninja Turtles. Oh my god. We'll, we'll look it up after this video. We're gonna have to, because that's yeah. hilarious. Oh my god. Yeah, I think it's called, uh, N-Word Turtles. That's what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Oh, I think, uh, that's what, uh, that hurts. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna come back down to Earth for a second. No, you fucking goddammit. Yeah. I don't know how long this is going for, I don't even care. If you enjoying this video, don't lie, people. <laughs> All three of your viewers. Two of them with me. <laughs> One of them is George. <laughs> that leaves, like, you know, One person from the outside could Like, there, I saw, like, I was actually watching our videos on Smash the other day, and there was, like, one random guy that I saw, like, he's like, more! I'm like, oh, cool, people do actually watch us do these! <laughs> yeah. It's, like, just the, just the matter of, like, getting out there and finding people to fucking watch this shit. That's the most difficult part. My up smash so it's fucking slow. Sixty-three damage. You guys think I can do it? Man, no, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's seventy-two. <laughs> Tased and confused. That's two for two. Right? What is it, tiebreaker? Yeah. Use a tiebreaker. Oh my god, my PC's shot. <laughs> it's like, damn, we're just gonna find that special. Cause I'm so excited that in the new one they have like uh, multiple final destinations because having one fucking final destination is pretty stupid. Yeah, no, that, that's actually really cool. I, I get kind of sick of staring at that black hole all the time. Yeah. Or white hole would it be? I don't know. That's racist. I mean, there's actually a different phenomenon than white hole and black hole. <laughs> I personally like white holes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That, I'm going to hell. That, that, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to hell. 
Welcome to Gaming with Friends. Well, uh, <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> All the religious people should not watch the show. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm oh. gonna take this moment to say fuck you, Westboro Baptist Church. If you... Oh yeah! Because uh, you're oh, about to pick talk it about... yeah, yeah, let's talk about those great people that that are over God there. Damn it! I'm getting my ass whooped. Fucking <laughs> dude, I can't believe they said they were gonna like pick it as fucking. Like, oh um, my god! Gay pimp because he played in that movie, The Birdcage. Well, I'm just, I'm just uh, well, yeah, because at Guardians they had the what the, they had the fucking. Um, they had the fucking. Uh, I'm trying to focus and say shit. They had oh, it was Night at the Museum three. That's what it was. Right. And Why? I, I saw I saw him in that and I was like, oh, fucking sad. I don't know. It's just that's crazy. I didn't even know they were even making that movie. I yeah. had no idea. Like I thought. Well, I saw the second one and I thought. It was yeah, I didn't actually watch the second one. I was like, the first one was good. I feel like it's gonna be one of those years where they milk it for everything it's worth. Mm -hmm. That awkward moment. I really need you to leave one more stock wrap. Not take one. <laughs> yeah, piece of shite. Yeah, piece of shite, mate. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I can come back from this. I can come back from this. <laughs> well, Robin. fuck you. I like how we just spent like 40 matches of me winning, and <laughs> every time I'm on camera, I choke. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys in the next video. Uh, that was awesome. Uh, Good job, man. Yeah. Zero suit wins. <laughs>